It was at this intersection at Moffett Road and Forest Hill Drive in January 2018 where Michael Evans' car crashed into Michael Breland's. According to the state, Breland died a week later, turning this into a traffic homicide. He knew he ran the red light, uh, so we believe he knew he was speeding. He knew he ran the red light and caused Mr. Breland's death. A Mobile Police investigator testified Evans was seen speeding and driving recklessly just before the fatal crash. A key piece of evidence, Evans was recorded on a police body camera saying he ran the red light. But Evans wasn't read his Miranda rights at the time. Would that be admissible in court? It would depend on whether it's a spontaneous statement or whether he was in custody or not. He was not in custody, and we believe that the statement he made was not under interrogation. It was a spontaneous uh, kind of statement. According to testimony from the state, the victim died roughly a week after the crash, so Mobile Police couldn't do an accident scene recreation. Michael Breland's death prompting an investigation into traffic homicide charges, that investigation taking months as the suspect wasn't taken into custody until more than a year later. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.